The wait is finally over as the seventh edition of Varsity Football explodes onto your television screens. 2019's tournament opens in the City of Roses, the staging ground for this mouth-watering clash between Varsity Football returnees, the University of the Free State, and the ever-present University of the Western Cape. The UWC have uh, assembled quite a barrier here. It's O'Brien and Arantza who are interested, and it's O'Brien who goes low, and it's O'Brien who opens the scoring. UFS have their first Varsity Football goal for five years, and they bag it in style. That's why they took long. O'Brien was checking the wall. Remember, Grant, they, you can now interfere with the wall as the opponent. You have to leave the wall right there. O'Brien stood, stood, and let me tell you, his eye contact was on the furthest post at the keeper. So the keeper and the defense, they thought that he's going high. Now, GFS to get forward, it's taken well by O'Brien. He goes tumbling down, there was a shove in his back, and the referee points to the spot. An opportunity to extend their lead here. Once again, proper control from O'Brien. A well-played pass through to O'Brien from that man who's just been introduced, Lee, see by the number 10, the raster. And O'Brien, the way he took it on the run and get in front of the defender, that's what top strikers do, and that's what the coaches want to see. Dylan O'Brien up against Ramad. And O'Brien slots it home. That is a superbly taken penalty. And just after the hour mark, UFS lead by two. Here's a question from me, Grant. Is this man a right footer or a left footer? Because the set pieces he plays with is right. O'Brien, quality in the box. And now we see him taking a set piece penalty and putting it with his left, cushion it. Grass cutter, we call it. No chance for the goalkeeper. Power behind the ball. Oh, now. Start of the run from inside his own half and an opportunity now surely to wrap it up and they have it's the man who's off the bench Lesibe and onto the score sheet phenomenal work the ball played from the middle of the park for Guala who made a brilliant run and noticed everybody was in the other side of the halfway line that's why it's not a offside and Guala just pushed pushed and when Ryan tried to close him down Lisibe what he was introduced to do he did it very well which is make those runs from deep into supporting the top man and that's the brilliant ball from the middle of the park that's Guala trying to clip the ball forward Oh, this is looking decent for UWC to just pull one back. The ball's still alive for them inside the 18-yard area. And has it gone over the line? I believe it has. They have managed a goal. But will it turn out to be a mere consolation? Or can they mount a stunning comeback here? Meveni, quality cross in the box. And again, that man, Peterson, putting Chawuke under pressure and tapping. Actually, it was an own goal, Grant, from... The captain, Mukati, they're trying to defend it, but he hit it inside of the goal. Miveni now. Good interplay. Peterson could have turned, didn't realize it. And Delanga brought down in the box. An opportunity to reduce their rears further and bring themselves back within one. The crowd on his back, and Festa converts. UWC scamper back to the halfway line. They are looking to pull off an improbable comeback here, but they are one step away from doing so. Let me tell you, we are in for a couple of minutes left in this game. Quality penalty taken, power behind the ball, precision. He knew what he wanted to do. Not easy for a right footer to actually take the ball and kick it to the left hand side of the keeper, but this Fante, the captain, managed to do it very well. It is UFS on their own patch who beat UWC by three goals to two in this Varsity Football opener.